This question says, which chair might be more harmful to sit on? Is it chair A, where we have a single nail protruding from the seat of the chair? Chair B, where we have many nails protruding from the seat of the chair? Or, if both will be equally harmful, then mark C. So in either case, we're going to have the full weight of the person coming down on the seat of the chair, which again, will either have a single nail as an A, or many nails as in B. But in A, with just this single nail, the full weight of the person will be concentrated on the tip of this single nail. So we'll have a very small contact area. And this very small contact area means that sitting on this single nail is likely to be very harmful. It's very likely to penetrate the skin and potentially do a lot of damage. Now comparing that to B, which features many nails protruding from the seat of the chair, well, instead of concentrating the force or the weight of that person on a single nail, it will be distributed across all of these nails. And if there are enough nails, you can actually sit on a chair like chair B without being harmed, albeit uncomfortably, but without being harmed. So the more nails, the larger the contact area, and the le less likely it is to be harmful. And for that reason, chair A is more likely to be harmful, again, because the entire weight of that person is being forced or focused onto the tip of this single nail. There's no distribution.